I noticed that my video cut short, people. I don't know if you got to see the tube get put on. Look at that. We're way up here. We're high. That's high. Yes. You're not. I don't know if you're gonna need the whole ten inches. Uh, well, you, like I said, uh, well, we can we can rotate it down right now manually and see where it's gonna hit at. Uh, All right. Well. But that, that looks right. It looks like it's going to hit right on I horizontally. It, I think the 10 inches is, is dead on. I think it's going to be a tad low. It's going to be right on the edge of that. Yeah. Right when you have it laid flat and it's 10 inches up, it's going to be right on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't let it swing out because it's going to hit the ladder. I'm going to let it swing your way. I can read it. You're tightening it. Oh, I sure am. Thank you. And it's weighted good, right? It's close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now, With 10 inches, you're right there. I think it's parallel. It's going to be a tad low on parallel. and come up your 10 inches, it's going to be perfect. Let me come down. Let me see. Let me get that in. That's pretty awesome. That just looks, that just looks cool. Woo-hoo-hoo, people. Look at that. Look at that. That looks awesome. That right, looks cool, boy. That belong. That that telescope belongs up there. You imagine wrestling a 14 or 16 inch upper? Well, we do it. If that's what we had, we would. We uh, have to make a little uh, cheap old uh, quick disassemble type of uh, A-frame for it. That's pretty awesome. Now look out from the control room window, sitting down. Uh, we'll get a reflection. I'll do it. Yeah, we get a reflection. Not really like it. Oh, no, not right here. If I get over here. Oh, that's good. We're gonna mark the uh, the the ring, uh, the dome ring with degrees. Uh, degrees make sure. Oh, uh, so we can, yeah. So we that'd be cool because yeah. because yeah, for the sky visual, the degrees, easier, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely cool. You can send Celestra on a copy of that. <laughs> sure do. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, we're gonna take a break. Because I think it's lunchtime almost. Yes, now. past. Okay, so. Thanks for visiting, everybody. I need to make sure all these locks are down here. Oh, they're going to be happy about this vlog. Huh? They're going to be happy to see this video. Long time coming. They're going to be happy to see this video because I don't think they've been able to visualize what it's going to be like. You know, basically, we, we got to figure into our. If we can make our platform even with this, you can make it stand here. That's going to make it real accessible. But we're going to have to be able to rotate it and get the boat in. So. Holy shit! You always have to swear, Mrs. Walsh. <laughs> Are you kidding? No. no. Why would I cuss? <laughs> you have more. Well, that's a good response. Because you have more cooth. Uh huh. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just. We're trying to not scoot it. We're picking up movement. Wow. 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 That's a lot Pretty awesome, huh? I looked bigger when it got up there. Uh, that's a chore to get it off ladder. Is the hole going to be big enough to point the scope out? The dome rotates, Rob. Right. Right. <laughs> the ro that that oh that dome oh, oh, rotates. You got to figure we have a, a dew shield another two foot long. That's as close as it will get to any part of the dome. Yeah, but the hole's only this big, right? Yeah. Yeah, but the dome fault was a scope problem. No, it's it. pointing against the wall. Well, yeah, well, that's why the dome moves, Rob. That's why there's all the little wheels up there for the dome to rotate, because now we've got to well, tune the dome. Well, a number on this, and it goes, eh, here goes the dome with it. The window moves, too. I know, I know, I know. It just doesn't seem like a very big hole now. Oh, it's way bigger than most domes. If everything's synchronized correctly, I mean, you got this much... You know how big that scope looks up there? It looks huge. It looks bigger than it did on the ground. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. Okay, it was break time, lunch time. Yeah, that's what we're going over for. Uh -huh. I need a break for sure. Wow, that we... mount, that's pretty awesome, Dad, that's, right there. Yeah, that looks really positive. I was a little disappointed. Uh, when we get up there, Dan goes, Look at that, what's that noise? And he goes, It's like Wait. everything's shaking. Oh man, this ain't good. It just wasn't sealed down. Oh, big bolts weren't snug. I don't know if the temperature loosened them or. 
And every time I put something on there, I'm shaking it, rattling it, seeing what it's shaking, <laughs> if there's any shake. But there isn't. It's it's solid as all get up. I don't know how that got done. I don't know when that got done. No, I was asked about that. I didn't. I know that I could have got done in the uh, shipping box. In the shipping box under the, the trailer. I don't think it did. I think I must have put some of that black paint on. Anyone? Are you leaving that skill up there? Yes. So right now. Yep. Okay, everyone. What's that's got, what's gonna happen? I'll come back for later. We're gonna have, uh, do a temporary hookup and an alignment, one star alignment on Polaris to make sure. What the deal is, it's marked here, it's supposed to be at Polaris, okay? Right. If our uh, weight bar is standing up right, the weight bar should be dead in line with this on Polaris. That means we got plenty of room to do our polar. Gotcha. It pretty much is. I think we've already visually confirmed it, but when, but when we finally do it, then we'll know for sure. Oh, okay. Once that happens, we got to take everything back off, and i got to really cinch that middle bolt down. Yeah. Or put a second bolt down. That's a good thing we take it down for. That no, I meant, so meant to do it, meant to do it earlier, so. Okay, so let's go take it for lunch break.